Could it be that we've been searching in the right place, but missing the main point? Jesus says something shocking to those who thought they had it all figured out. Today we're diving into John 5 verse 39, where Jesus challenges us to see what we might be overlooking in our pursuit of truth. When I first began my journey of faith, I thought the key was simply knowing the Bible. I memorized verses, studied different translations, and tried to understand every detail. But despite all my knowledge, something was missing. I still felt distant from God. It wasn't until I understood the words of John 5 verse 39 that I realized I had been studying diligently but missing the most important truth. The heart of scripture is Jesus. The verse in context. John 5 verse 39 is part of a conversation where Jesus is addressing the Jewish leaders. These leaders knew the scriptures inside out. They dedicated their lives to studying the word of God, but they missed the one to whom the scriptures pointed, Jesus Christ. At this moment, Jesus is confronting them, saying, You study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them, you have eternal life. But these are the scriptures that testify about me. The leaders were so focused on the details, rules, and traditions that they missed the revelation of God standing right in front of them. In this verse, Jesus emphasizes that scripture is not just a set of rules or knowledge to be mastered. It is a witness to him, the one who brings eternal life. Let's break this verse down phrase by phrase, because every word carries weight. You study the scriptures diligently. The Jewish leaders were diligent. They didn't casually glance at the scriptures, they immersed themselves in it. But Jesus is pointing out that diligence alone doesn't equate to understanding or transformation. How often do we read the Bible out of habit or routine without truly encountering God in the text? Because you think that in them you have eternal life. They believed that the scriptures themselves were the source of eternal life. But Jesus is redirecting this belief. Eternal life is not found in simply knowing the Bible, it's found in knowing the one to whom the Bible points. This is a call for us to avoid treating scripture like a textbook, but instead, as a pathway to a relationship with Jesus. These are the very scriptures that testify about me. Jesus makes the point clear, the whole Bible testifies about him. From Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is a unified story that leads us to Jesus. He is the thread that runs through it all, the fulfillment of prophecy, the embodiment of God's promises, and the bringer of salvation. The purpose of studying scripture is to encounter Christ. Let's pause for a moment. Think about your own Bible study. Have you ever found yourself reading the Bible, searching for answers, but missing the person of Jesus in the text? Drop a comment below if you've ever had that moment where you realized the Bible was more about a relationship than rules. When we approach the scriptures, let's remember that we aren't just learning history or principles. We're meeting Jesus. Practical Application So how do we make sure that our Bible study leads us to Jesus and not just knowledge? Here are three practical steps you can take. Pray before you read. Before you open your Bible, take a moment to pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal Jesus to you through the scriptures. Look for Jesus in every passage. No matter where you are reading, whether in the Old or New Testament, ask yourself, how does this point to Jesus? The entire Bible is a witness to him. For example, when you read about the sacrifices in Leviticus, recognize that they are a foreshadowing of Christ's ultimate sacrifice. Reflect on your relationship, not just your knowledge. After you read a passage, don't just focus on what you've learned. Instead, 
reflect on how it affects your relationship with Jesus. Is it drawing you closer to Him? Is it stirring your heart to trust Him more deeply? This approach transforms Bible study from being an academic exercise to a life-changing encounter with the living God. Imagine how different your faith journey could be if every time you opened the Bible, you met with Jesus personally. If you saw him, not just in the words on the page, but in the message behind them. How would that transform your walk with God? Jesus is calling us to not just know the scriptures, but to know him. He is the living word that brings life, peace, and joy. Here's a challenge for you this week. Every time you open your Bible, pray first and ask God to show you more of Jesus in what you read. Share your experience in the comments below, and let's encourage each other in our journey of faith. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the next study, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.